really disappointed for Kiel and his family and, and uh, for everybody involved in our organization as well. I mean, uh, guy that we signed out of Moultrie, Georgia, Copa County High School State Champion Player of the Year in a lot of situations as far as the state of Georgia was concerned. And uh, just a wonderful young man, has, has uh, done everything we've asked of him. Uh, had a really good freshman and sophomore years and kind of broke out of the wider part of his junior season and was in the best condition he's been since he's been here. Primed to have a great senior year and continue to play after college, in my opinion. And, uh, you know, very, very unfortunate situation. And a small fracture in his neck, which really was going to heal within four to six weeks, had nothing to do with him not being able to play football. During our research and, and helping him get back, we discovered uh, through two specialists, a neurologist in Atlanta and in Charlotte, uh, that he had a cyst on his spinal cord. And that's really the issue that, that uh, we, we found. Thank goodness we found it. Uh, but, you know, Kiel's going to graduate in December. He wants to get into coaching. He's not sure if he wants to be a high school coach or a college coach, but he'll be successful in whatever he does. He's extremely bright. He, he, he relates well with anybody he meets. Uh, he's got that certain skill with people, and, um, and he's going to be a part of our staff this fall and uh, moving forward and supporting him and, and obviously him graduating in December. And it's a, a message for our guys. I mean, this guy's handled his business the right way. He's graduated. Getting your education is why you're here. I think our guys understood that part. And, you know, unfortunately, in our game, we all have expiration dates. And generally, probably 1% of us all that play football, you know, it ends on your terms. You know, and, you know, i got a great example in our own building. Mike Peterson played 14 years in the National Football League. And when I was in Florida, came to me and said, they want me to play a 15th year and I don't want to play anymore. And that doesn't happen very often. So that's unfortunate. And it certainly ended too soon for Kiel. But we think we love him. And, I just hate this happen to him, and he's going to have some tough times in the fall, and we all need to support him, and we will. Uh, got some good news on Evan Henson. He's only going to be out three or four weeks. Uh, the surgery was much better than we thought. So excited about that. Kier Thomas uh, will be cleared sometime next week. He's been doing a lot of individual work, but he just hasn't done any 11 on 11. So, uh, and other than that, we're, we're, we're doing well. So, um, but scrimmage today, a little sloppy on both sides of the ball. Uh, just some procedure issues, some communication issues that were disappointing for our second scrimmage. We got about 120 scrimmage snaps. We got some live kicking game done, which was always good. Um, but uh, just got to clean a lot of things up as we continue to move forward. I thought there were some bright spots on both ends. We got a lot of situational work, a four minute drill to win the game. The offense was able to stay on the field to end the clock. Uh, coming out situation, offense was able to get a first down coming off the goal line, which is critical to be able to flip the field uh, to get a first down in those situations. A good one minute situation to end with a field goal to win the game. Uh, the defense did a really nice job in our red zone work and uh, it's kind of back and forth during the move of the ball. But looking forward to seeing the tape and seeing where we are, but uh, just a little too sloppy as far as just some procedure issues, some things that we need to clean up. We claim that, you know, we want to do the things that take no talent very well. We didn't today, and that was disappointing. And, We'll, we'll address that as we move forward. Our, our guys are off tomorrow unless they have treatment. And then we'll have two training camp-like practices on Monday and Tuesday. We'll be off on Wednesday. We'll start on North Carolina on Thursday. So I'll open up for any questions. Raise your hand and get a microphone to you, David. Will Howard Dowdle and Edwards, were they able to go today? Yeah, no, they didn't today, but they're, they'll be cleared for Monday. Rico had a little bit of a bone bruise. He's fine. We held him today, and, and Brian could have gone today. And uh, he'll, be back. he'll be fine. He'll be back Monday. What was Edwards? Just show him. Have you felt like offense or defense has done more, done better so far in camp? I think it's been pretty even as far as it just, you know, there's been some, some good competition is the best way I'd say it. There were some, a couple explosive plays. Shot Smith had a really good day today, but, I mean, we got a defender there, and, and we got to make that play defensively, offensively. I'm happy that Shot made a 50-50 ball, made a great play. So, um, you know, when you're, when you're able to, to, you know, not just bust and, and let a guy run free on the defense, I guess, is what, Josh, what I'm trying to say. I mean, we had some really good competition. We had some point of attack plays where uh, the, the running backs running through contact and we're making a really nice tackle defensively. Uh, so there's a lot of, you know, things that from a, from a schematic standpoint I thought were clean. It was some of the procedural issues we've got to get cleaned up. But I, I think it's been pretty even. Um, how were the quarterbacks today? I guess Jake Ryan and uh, the Garrett. All three guys, you know, I thought, uh, you know, Jake, we had some explosive plays offensively. Um, and, and I'm looking forward to watching the film and evaluating to carry on and run. John. Coach Wolford was pleased with the, the way his group blocked in, in the run game last game. Did you see the same thing in this game? 
I thought we had some creases, you know, in the run game. We did, you know, John, we did so much situational work, so it wasn't as much just move the ball. Uh, so it's kind of hard in some situations that, uh, to, to look. But, uh, again, I think we've done a nice job in the run game, uh, you know, throughout training camp and blocking a pretty good front. And how, how does that 